In case you didn't know, starting from iOS 17, Apple introduced a new way for us to actually handle data flow in SwiftUI and it's called the observation framework. Now my goal in this course is to help you get ahead of the game and understand everything that you need to know and to easily get you up to speed with this new way of thinking. Now you might be thinking, what, like, you know, why do I even need this again? Well, the observation framework gives your SwiftUI apps a massive performance boost, which is why we're going to start off with an intro to the observation framework. We'll then go over the new observable macro and new property wrappers, as well as discuss app performance. I'll be honest, not everyone gets to just work on the new tech and you might already have an existing code base that's using the observable object protocol. So because of that, we'll see how we can actually migrate an existing project and things to avoid so you don't get stressed out. For me, the best way to learn is to build stuff with practical examples, which is why look into building apps that feature a store, a custom theme switcher, a language manager, and an app that lets you shake for daily affirmations so you can basically start your day off right. Now, if you want to access all of this, you can easily do that by clicking on the link down below to get access to all of the source code. And you might be wondering, what does this course actually come with? Well, if you're someone who wants to follow along with this course or just access the final source code so you have a nice reminder for how things work, you can unlock it all from my Gumroad page. Now, one of the benefits of actually having a source code is that you'll also get updates for future videos in this course along with any code improvements bug fixes and you might be wondering to yourself is this the right course for me well to be honest with you if you're someone who's working with swift ui and you want to make your app slick fast and super efficient then you'll definitely want to check out this course this course is a great way for you to actually learn about app architecture and follow the best practices as well make sure you click on the link down below to access the source code and you should see a video on the screen here so we can actually dive straight in to our first video all about the observation framework with an introduction let's get this morning.